Thank you, Mr. Brooke. Um, many countries have already recognised Palestine and the numbers are growing. Last uh, Friday, French politicians debated a motion which invited the French government to, quote, use the recognition of the state of Palestine as an instrument to gain a definitive resolution of the conflict. Uh, this, I think, goes to the heart of that particular matter. France is the latest European country expected to vote in favour of recognising Palestine, following this House's own groundbreaking, if non binding vote in October, the official recognition by Sweden on the 30th of October, and the symbolic vote by the Fran S Spanish government on the 18th of November. Now, in response, Benjamin Netanyahu has said as, has said as much as, uh, as this. He said that France's vote would be tantamount to showing solidarity with the Islamic State. He is quoted as saying, do they have nothing better to do at a time of beheadings across the Middle East, including that of a French citizen? Now, this was referring to M. Hervé Gourdel, a hiker from the Marseille area, who was murdered by his captors in Algeria in September. Many honourable members will remember that tragic event. I know uh, myself that uh, M. Gourdel was deeply mourned by people locally in his own locality, but as to Mr. Netanyahu, he seems to recommend a, a finite limit to compassion, a view which I do not share. In uh, these kinds of comments, uh, we see illustrated why uh, the world needs to stand in favour of recognition, uh, a stance which would bolster democracy in the Middle East, not undermine it. I think not, given the number of vulnerable members who wish to speak. Well, right. I will. Extremely grateful for giving way. Uh, and just very briefly, would he not uh, agree that, with me that the Mr. Netanyahu is quite wrong to say that supporting a, 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 Palestine, a recognised Palestinian state would uh, support extremism? It does exactly the opposite. It bolsters the moderate position within the Palestinian cause and makes a two-state solution all the more likely and peace all the more likely. Well, I entirely agree. I think we need to promote discussion, and that is one way of, of uh, taking that forward giving international legitimacy to the Palestinian people and reaffirming their right to land. I believe the UK government and other governments across Europe uh, and throughout the world should recognise Palestine. Uh, otherwise, I think the, uh, without, there will be no end to the blockade, no end to the conflict. Uh, last summer's war will be reignited. The tragic process, the tragic process on both sides, I think, will repeat itself again, and I'm afraid, I'm afraid again. That is why I voted in favour of the motion uh, in this House in October and called for, calling for recognition. I said that the UK has a special responsibility as the immediate former imperial power, as a permanent member of the UN Security Council, as a guarantor of the Geneva Convention, and given our recent and disastrous interventions otherwise in Middle East affairs. Honourable members will recall that the vote in favour was 274 to 12. <coughs> I was glad of the opportunity uh, to restate Plaid Cymru's position on this matter. I've also welcomed my own local authority's decision, Gwynedd County Council, not to invest or trade uh, with those who trade with Israel. I will uh, very briefly. I actually live in the Gwynedd County Council area, and I'm fascinated by the fact that a majority of Plaid Cymru members voted uh, to boycott Israel. And yet, uh, the last time I contacted the local authority, they were still using their IT systems, which uses Israeli technology. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear from my constituents. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was the stance taken by Gwynedd County Council, and that is the stance that they will implement. I think it is clearly right to stop trade with illegal settlements, rather than con just condemning their establishments. I hope the leadership shown by Gwynedd County Council will encourage other councils in Wales and across the UK to do the same. I ask the Minister to back moves to stop trade with settlements and follow the example of the Spanish Government and stop the arms trade with Israel. Thank you. Well